mistaken, this is my first drive-in vlog of my 12 days of Christmas thing. I mean drive and vlog in the more traditional sense where it's just me in the car. But like when Natalie's here, or Satchel or whatever, I don't, I don't know if that really counts as a drive and vlog. I don't know. You guys are the viewers. I'll let you decide. This morning I'm just kind of basking in a post Star Wars afterglow, I guess. I don't know if that's the correct term. I think I'm going to have to see the movie again. Maybe I was just so overwhelmed I couldn't completely enjoy myself. Maybe my pedanticism for Star Wars made me uh, made me a little uptight during the viewing. I'm probably also just completely overthinking this. The more I think about it though, the more I did like it. Well, tomorrow's my last day at my store and then I can get a, uh, a move on to moving to the Bay Area. I said move too much in that sentence. Moving is such a pain though. Luckily I don't own a lot. It looks like I do, but it's mostly guitars. And I can transport those pretty easily. Uh, I need to get some new furniture too now that I think about it. I'm making a far bigger deal out of this than I need to. By new furniture, I mean I need to get like a hundred dollar desk. I remember about a month ago, I said in the vlog that in the last month I lived here, I wanted to eat at all the restaurants on Yelp that are listed in Turlock that have like four stars or more. Kind of fucked up on that one. I just didn't do it. Time was against me, I suppose. Finances were against me too. A lot of things just happened at once. That semi truck out there said he was turning, so I gave him room to go into the space and as he looked like he was turning a police officer and a fire engine just shot down that road so that was intense I wonder what's going on oh there's an ambulance down there I think there's a car accident or something oh no I have to take the detour again they said that that would be unblocked by the 16th it's now the 17th what the hell oh city of Turlock I am not going to miss you not one bit and the car accident was on the detour. I'm going to be so late to work. God damn it. All right, let's see if the car accident's really that bad. The first time I ever saw a fire engine in action up close, I was like eight or nine years old. I lived in this little town called Hampford, which is like two hours southeast of here. It's out by Bakersfield for those of you who live in California or for those of you who even care. But I remember uh, I, I lived in this neighborhood that was, it wasn't like run down, but it wasn't part of the like newer rebuilt part of Hampford. It was nice though. Everyone who lived there was really friendly. I had a lot of friends in the neighborhood. Anyways, I remember one day, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning, I was playing outside and suddenly this fire engine comes out of left field and stops at the house next door to one of my friends in the neighborhood and we didn't know what happened. So I went inside and I asked my mom, I said, mom, what's going on? And she said, I think that some really old people live there. Maybe they had an accident of some sort. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. But I later found out that the people who lived there were about my parents' age. And they had a four-year-old or a five-year-old who decided to climb up the chimney and got stuck. And so the first time I ever saw a fire engine up close was because a four-year-old got stuck in a chimney. I guess that's appropriate for these Christmas vlogs. It's kind of like a reverse Santa. The dude driving behind me is pissed. He's doing this whole thing with his hand on the steering wheel. It's kind of funny. You can probably see me making fun of him now. Oh yeah, doesn't look good up there. I'm gonna pause the driving vlog and call work real quick. Hold on a second, guys. It appears as though someone left their sandwich in the parking lot. <laughs> it is so cold out. This is the coldest it's been in a long time. I'm just sitting in my car waiting for it to warm up so I can drive home in relative comfort without my window completely fogged up. <laughs> it's so cold. So cold! <laughs> I obviously didn't keep filming after I got here because I was right around the corner from work and it's too much of a pain to set up this app so I can film while I'm driving, while I'm driving, if you know what I mean. Anyways, one last shift at this store and then I am moving on out to the Bay Area. Tonight was the December Arondonauts hangout and they ended it early and I didn't get to partake in the festivities. I'm kind of sad. That's always the highlight of my month. All right, well, it's warm enough to drive now, so I'm going home. Dad made pot roast for the first time 
in his life, and it came out really, really well. <laughs> What do you think, guys? I think it's darn good. What about you? All right, I chose the most inopportune moment to film you, didn't I? That 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 happens. Welcome That's to film. Okay, it's Welcome to film. It is 10:45, and I am driving to the nearest liquor store to grab some eggnog because we're out. Might put something in the eggnog as well. Be right back. There we go. That's what we need. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of that, and a bit of that, and then some of this. Splendid. Here's to you. Well, guys, the time has come for me to go to bed. I am very tired for some reason. I didn't really do anything today, but I'm very tired. I'll see you tomorrow.